Well, hello and welcome to Free Code Camp OKC. My name is Alex Ayon, and I'm going to be talk giving a brief talk on how to create a calendar using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, part of the motivation of this talk was um, I went through some of the Free Code Camp lessons, and um, I bet a lot of people are wondering, well, now that I've learned a little bit about HTML, a little bit about CSS and JavaScript, what, what kind of things can I do with, with that knowledge? So, kind of what the first thing uh, to do when you're approaching a project is to sort of break it down. So I think we're all familiar with calendars. We've used them all our lives. Uh, I think part of the, that's part of the reason I chose calendar. Um, it's also pretty familiar and um, common. But uh, what is a calendar? It's, it's a series of dates in chronological order uh, with varying different units of measures of time. Uh, years, you can break those down into months. Months, you can break into weeks. Weeks can be broken down into days. Um, it, it exhibits regularity, uh, every year resets, um, December 31st, you know, uh, and they're cyclic in nature. And um, these are kind of the aspects that define what a calendar is. Um, so uh, with HTML and JavaScript, you can start creating the structure that, that's going to uh, hold your calendar. So what I did was I basically had an HTML template from VS, um, VS Code. And, and then I dynamically created and appended HTML elements to mimic the real world example. Um, I used um, some document functions, uh, create element, set attributes, add classes. And I did all this to, to get a good structure to the HTML because um, what I wanted to create was this. Um, month is the, the bigger container. Inside that container is weeks. Inside weeks, there's days, seven days, usually. Um, and once you do that, once you have that structure, you can start adding in um, the days of the week, whether it's a weekday or not. Um, and once you're, you've created the structure, then you can use CSS. I use CSS grid because the calendar is basically a grid. Um, and then you can sort of style it with color and font families to make it look nice. So I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. The finished product um, looks pretty nice, I would say. <laughs> um, looks kind of like what, what you would expect for a calendar. Um, kind of mimics, I think, uh, what the Windows calendar kind of looks like. And I'm, I'll show you the code that generated this calendar. So I used uh, the moments library um, instead of using the native date object in JavaScript. The reason for that is because um, it has additional functionality. Uh, you can query the, the moment object um, and ask like what week of the year this is, uh, what day is it, what month. All these things are, are sort of necessary to create this calendar. Um, I sort of had uh, quite a few constants up here. Uh, whether you want to display the month um, as the full full length name, or you want a shortened version of it, same with the days of the week, um, and further down, um, this is where I do some of the appending into the the month object. Uh, same with the weeks, and this is crazy complicated logic just to figure out what <laughs> what day like what the current date is, and, it, and then to add uh, additional classes that are going to style it. Um, so I've set the calendar for the, the, the month of May um, by um, giving it a date up here and a format. Um, but if you wanted to see the current month, all you have to do is Data is everywhere <laughs> in here. Actually, I'm not going to show that. That'd take too long. But um, yeah, if you if you start with free code camp, you get some lessons done, and you want to start a project, um, a calendar would be a great start. A to do app uh, would also be a great start. And where I want to take this project next would be um, to add a modal. Um, so you, when you click on a day it would allow you to sort of input an event that you kind of want to assign to that day. Um, I would, next thing I might want to do with this project is use IndexedDB, um, which is a built-in database on the browser side. 
then maybe give people the option of p picking colors, uh, picking whether they want to display the, the names of the week in short version or long version, and then lastly to add the week number of the year that you're currently in. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks.